Hey guys, it's Garrett Stewart with Command Console, and in this video, I wanted to go over the uh, creating a seller-focused Facebook ad. We see so many ads that are focused on getting uh, buyer leads, and those are great, and we can get we can actually get sellers from doing those ads. But a lot of times, uh, we want to do specifically seller-focused ads, um, and that is uh, a great way to uh, build your listing portfolio. Do know uh, statistically you are more likely to pay per, more per lead. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you are running these ads. Uh, but let's go ahead and create a Facebook ad for that. Uh, so obviously to create a Facebook ad, we're gonna go on command and create, click on campaigns here, and we're gonna go ahead and create a new campaign. Uh, from here, we're gonna obviously do a paid social ad uh, we can just do, uh, we're going to pick the name of our campaign. The name of our campaign is, again, uh, if you've watched any of my training before, campaign name is just for your reference so you can trace back. It'll create a note for any leads that come through on it and let you know where they came from. Uh, and it just help you to keep track of what each ad was. Uh, so for this one, I'm actually going to do a winter seller's guide. Now, uh, another potential one I've seen people do, you know, for sellers is a home valuation or, um, you know, these seven tips to sell your home faster or something like that, or things to do before you put your house up for sale. Uh, there's a lot of different options up out there. So just keep that in mind. Um, uh, so w when you are creating this now, uh, next thing we're going to do is we're of course going to attract listings. This really doesn't change any settings in here. It's more for just tracking uh, for your tra tracking purposes. Um, for this one, I'm going to just do Facebook. Facebook traditionally has a, a higher uh, age range uh, compared to Instagram. Normally has a, uh, the average age on Instagram is lower than Facebook. And uh, more than likely, the older people are going to be the ones owning homes. So I want to do, I'm going to focus just on Facebook. So uh, we're going to set up a campaign. And from here, uh, we're not doing a listing, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, it has some suggested ad copy for you. That's when attracting listings, it does change these suggestions for you, um, which is nice. But what I'm going to do and what, uh, as you saw, I'm doing winter seller's guide. So I am a subscriber to Keeping Current Matters. Uh, it, it is a great site. I've done some other videos for them. Uh, but uh, if you, you don't have to use this seller's guide, if you have like a different guide or something like that, you want to do advertise, you absolutely can. Uh, again, uh, another one you could do is a home valuation based ad. Uh, so like, for example, uh, if you went to my, uh, web home search site, uh, which is just renosparks.kw.com. I have a home valuation page I created. If you do want to create this, by the way, and send leads through Facebook through here, you absolutely can. I do have my videos on commandconsult.com. You can scroll down a little bit to create a home value page on your agent site, uh, and you can find it right there. Um, so it is uh, a little bit down, so you might have to scroll uh, a little bit to it, but uh, that's where you are able to find it. Uh, so, uh, because I am doing the this uh, ad, we're going to do some ad text in here and things like that. So, nice thing is I already, um, this is the landing page that Keeping Current Matters gives for you for the seller's guides. Uh, this did actually come out today, which is why I'm creating it. It is a winter seller's guide for winter 2021, uh, which they do count as starting today. So. Uh, from here, I'm going to uh, go through these parts of it. Uh, I'm going to use this ad text just as uh, the text in the ad. So uh, I do like that. We're going to paste it. You may be wondering if prices are projected to rise or fall or how much competition you may be facing in your market. The free e-guide will answer many of your questions, likely bring up things you haven't thought about yet. Cool. All right. Then we're going to go back over here. We're going to copy that and we're going to paste that right in the headline. And then, uh, then down here we have a description. Uh, so the description box down here is going to be, um, uh, let's see, we'll do, um, click 
to download your free and um, and this is uh, things to do when selling your home in the winter. Let's see, I want to backspace out of there. I'll just name that. All right, so we've got that all set up. Now we can add some emojis in there if we want to, absolutely. Um, maybe even because of the winter, we could do uh, snow or something like that. There we go. We, we can throw in whatever we want in here. Uh, so we've got that. Now uh, we pick an image. Uh, so the nice thing is with Keeping Current Matters, they do have some graphics for you. So I'm going to do that. If you did home valuation, you could always just find some type of like picture um, of homes with uh, prices in front of them or something like that. Uh, get creative on how you want to show that off, but you could absolutely pick some type of um, picture to put in there about like home values or something like that. So uh, we're going to uh, upload our media. We're going to add an image, uh, upload an image and click. And uh, it is in our downloads. I already downloaded it. So um, uh, you can see I did all those right there. So click on that. Uh, we upload one at a time. That fits in perfectly. Save image. Awesome. Uh, I really like this. Um, now we can add an image. Again, upload image. We'll do another page. This one's going to be a little bit uh, trimmed, which is fine. As you can see, it's just kind of zoomed in on that page so people can kind of get a little teaser of what's in it and we'll add the front copy uh, of the image. Now you don't have to, you can just do one picture if you want to, you are not forced to do um, one uh, if you want to. So, and I actually haven't done this before of switching it between square and, um, I don't know if it'll work, that might work. Cool, um, okay. And you know what? I'm gonna free e guide. Just people like to see the word free, and uh, I think that will help get them going on it. Oh, and I don't think that e needs to be capitalized. And you know what? Screw it. I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna even do a free guide. All right. There we go, we've got that ad set up exactly how I want it. Now we're gonna configure that. Now, a lot of times with these seller focused ads, you're actually, uh, we'll, we'll post it on um, our business page, but we aren't going to be using the Facebook lead generation form on this uh, because when they click on this ad, they're actually gonna be taken to this landing page, um, which I'm gonna copy this address here. This is where they're going to get the information. Um, so great way to uh, set them up on here. Uh, cool thing is with this Keeping Current Matters, it'll allow them to in capture the info. Same thing happens if you did create the home value page. Um, oops, timed out. Um, if you did create a home value page on your command website or, or wherever, um, you could enter in address stuff right in here. Uh, and then on the next page, it does, um, I have it, so it does lead capture. Um, I'll just pick a random. Uh, so then on the next page, it does get their name, their email, phone, optional, and then are you looking to sell and get an idea of their time frame right there. So this is what I've created uh, and I did walk through it in this video here. Uh, so you can do it that way too if you don't have like a Keeping Current Matters, but you would need a landing page uh, that is a lead capturing landing page if you are selecting this. So this will not, this means that the leads will not go into your command. So just take note of that. You will have to manually enter them in. Um, 
it's not like you're going to have hundreds and hundreds going in there, so it's not going to be a ton of work. Um, so, um, I mean, it'd be awesome if it was hundreds and hundreds um, <laughs> of seller leads. Uh, so, but just keep that in mind. Uh, they will not. Uh, however, your site is set up for a landing page to capture them. That's where you'll find those contacts. So. Um, then you can add target if you want to you could do uh, again I'm in Reno Nevada so I could just do a 20 mile raise and I could actually use custom settings if I want to uh, a lot of times actually um, so uh, I, I might not necessarily do that or I might just keep it pretty basic uh, if I do Zillow Trulia Realtor and I could just put all the home sites on there. Um, I think there's homes.com on here too. There we go. Um, I could do home. Uh, I think there's house. There we go. So we'll just call it there. We're good. Save Facebook ad. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, and then you could pick a budget and go from there. Uh, so basically what this is gonna look like is as soon as they click on this ad, they're gonna click the learn more that will not, Facebook will not capture any information about them. Uh, it's simply gonna take them to whatever landing page you entered in, which in my case will be right here, where this is going to lead capture them. So the nice thing is it does um, take them to the site and does have a little bit of selling point in there uh, and they have a few options to reach out to me right from there so uh, so once I'm ready to start I pick the dates um, I can start it as early as tomorrow and run it through however long uh, and whatever my budget is so I'm going to create this ad right now uh, and then uh, I'll do a follow-up in uh, when this is completed and we'll see how this all goes so um, hope you guys enjoy if you have any other questions uh, or need some more command help, you can always go to my website, uh, commandconsult.com, and you can watch my videos, you can help get command consultations and different things all right through here, through here on my website. So I hope you guys enjoy and have an amazing day. Thanks.